<laughs> You're about to see some of the creepiest videos found on the internet. Let's check them out. Our first clip of the day comes from ex-user Sidio Paranormal. It's some eerie footage captured in the middle of the woods at night time. Take a look. The driver said he heard some strange noises and decided to pull over and start filming. That's when he noticed the strange figure crossing up ahead. Many viewers instantly drew parallels to the infamous Woman in White. The Woman in White is a widely known and frequently recounted ghostly figure in folklore and paranormal circles. Often depicted as a sorrowful, ethereal figure, she's said to haunt rural roads, forests and other secluded areas. The legends often associate her with tragedy, commonly involving betrayal by a lover, the loss of her children or other heartbreaking events. As a result of these traumas, she's doomed to wander, lamenting her fate and sometimes searching for her lost children or seeking revenge. While the specifics of her story vary across cultures and regions, the motive of the woman in white remains a haunting and enduring tale of loss and unfulfilled desires. So is this a genuine woman in white sighting? Let me know where you land on this one in the comments down below. Tom DeLonge, best known as the former lead vocalist and guitarist for the band Blink-182, has transitioned from punk rock anthems to a quest for truths about unidentified flying objects. With an enduring passion for alien encounters and sightings, DeLonge's childhood intrigue about stories like the 1947 Roswell incident laid the groundwork for his future endeavours. Establishing the To The Stars Academy of Arts and Science, DeLong played a pivotal role in publicizing three notable footages captured by the US Navy between 2004 and 2015. These clips, showcasing unidentified aerial phenomena, captured immense public attention upon their release in 2017 and 2018. DeLong's revelations shared on a BBC Radio 1 rock podcast with Daniel P. Carter dived into topics even deeper than UFO sightings. He presented claims of possessing a Pentagon document detailing the study of telekinesis. DeLong claims that the document suggests that the US Department of Defense has ventured into uncharted territory, telekinesis research. The document indicates that the department was actively studying a 10-year-old boy from China with the ability to move objects using only his mind. Notably, the document describes a controlled experiment in which the child moved a piece of paper within a sealed jar and subsequently moved it six feet across the floor. Surprisingly, the document suggests that out of 100 individuals with similar abilities, only 10 have truly mastered this skill. The implications of such research, if verified, could change our understanding of the mind's potential. Such assertions suggest to DeLong that the realm of consciousness might be far more intricate and influential than previously believed. Advocating the notion that mind precedes matter, DeLong envisions a future where telepathy, healing and advancements in science are influenced by the power of consciousness. In an interview with Thrasher magazine in January 2022, DeLong further expounded on his beliefs, suggesting that UFOs might not exclusively originate from other planets, but could be interdimensional entities. His comments also alluded to the phenomena of unidentified submerged objects, or USOs, in the ocean, recounting an incident where a USO allegedly interfered with a torpedo test. DeLong's unconventional perspectives and claims have polarized the public. While many commend his commitment to unveiling UFO truths and appreciate the openness his academy promotes, skeptics question the basis of his conclusions. 
Regardless of these divides, DeLong's unwavering dedication to unraveling the UFO enigma continues to catalyze conversation. A chilling incident from a late night shift has left employees at a building site perplexed and questioning the unknown. The mysterious episode, captured on CCTV and shared on Instagram by user Paranoid Normal, has caused quite a stir. On a seemingly ordinary evening, a welder was engrossed in his work during the night shift. Alone and undisturbed, he continued his task, until a security guard, while reviewing the night's footage, noticed the welder engaged in an animated conversation. Confused, the security guard summoned the welder to the security office to understand the situation. The welder said he was speaking to another colleague during his shift. Take a look at what the cameras caught. As the footage rolls, you can see the welder conversing enthusiastically. And at one point, he even appears to shake hands with an unseen entity. The welder insists that a colleague was there with him in full uniform chatting and making jokes. The story takes a chilling turn when both the security guard and the welder were informed that a colleague of theirs had tragically died off-site the previous night. Given the timing of events, whispers among staff suggest the possibility of the welder's interaction being with the spirit of the departed worker. Could this truly be a communication from the beyond, or just a puzzling coincidence? The incident leaves us with more questions than answers. Urban exploration can be a fascinating, if not eerie, passion. Christopher Hill, a popular YouTuber known for his channel Urbex Hill, frequently delves into the spine-tingling corners of North America's abandoned structures. His solo explorations and close encounters in derelict locations have earned him a substantial following. Yet, one of his recent adventures stands out, plunging both him and his viewers into deep speculation. In a haunting episode, Chris ventures into the long-abandoned Robert Fulton Elementary School in Cleveland, Ohio. With its roots dating back to 1929, the school, named after the renowned American engineer and inventor Robert Fulton, has remained deserted for over 13 years. Camera in hand, Chris navigates the shadowy halls and crumbling classrooms of the old school. You can see just how decrepit the property has become. I'm definitely not walking on this floor. At one point, Chris discovers an unnerving message written on one of the blackboards. Undeterred, he continues on. However, as he wanders the upper floors, the exploration takes a harrowing turn. Watch.
Watching that again, it sounds like someone yells from the darkness. Ah! Terrified, Chris runs away, frantically looking for the exit. Somebody's in there. But the episode's chills don't end there. While editing his footage back at home, Chris noticed an unsettling detail. Right as he's entering the school at the beginning of the episode, something creepy can be seen in the footage. It can be hard to see at first, but if you slow it down and brighten the image up, you can see a shadowy figure walking by in the background. While Chris theorises that this might be a squatter secretly watching him throughout his exploration, many fans lean towards a more supernatural explanation. Could this be a ghost potentially linked to the school's storied past? Adding intrigue, a recent report by Cleveland 19 News indicates that the Toba Building Company, the new custodian of the Robert Fulton School site, plans to refurbish it into mixed income housing. This revelation prompts a tantalising question. If there truly is a ghost, will it continue to haunt the premises post-renovation? For potential future residents, the thought of possibly cohabiting with a spectral entity is either enthralling or deeply unsettling. Would you live here post-renovation? Let me know in the comments down below. Recent unexplained phenomena in the skies above Colombia have sent the UFO community into a frenzy of excitement and speculation. In a particularly perplexing incident, an unidentified flying object described as a crescent of blue lights was seen hovering over Bogota. Shared on Instagram by the user Unanswered Universe, the spectacle has left many baffled. No one has managed to explain or debunk this eerie sighting. Yet, this isn't the sole mysterious airborne event to emerge from Colombia recently. Another incident, already hailed as one of the best UFO footages ever, was captured by none other than model Valentina Ruida Velez. On April 4, 2023, Valentina was aboard a private plane cruising at an altitude of 20,000 feet beneath a pristine blue sky. Suddenly, about 10 seconds into a video she shared on her Instagram story, a small black dot materialises on the right side of the screen. Moments later, a disc-shaped saucer darts past the cockpit, banking to one side and gliding swiftly beyond the plane. Many were taken aback by the footage's clarity and authenticity. Here's the footage slowed down. However, there were skeptics amidst the sea of believers. Some speculated it could be a drone, while another suggested it might just be flying debris. Despite the differing opinions, a consensus emerges. This could very well be one of the best UFO video footages ever filmed. With these baffling occurrences coming in quick succession, it begs the question, why Colombia and why now? What draws these mysterious entities or objects to the Colombian skies? 
As the world looks on, the quest for answers continues, fueling debates, discussions, and of course, some wonder. Before we take a look at what many viewers are calling a genuine haunted home, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. A video clip that's been making waves on social media over this past week has sparked heated debates about its authenticity. Shared on the platform X by user Sidio Paranormal, this captivating footage promises more than just a passing glance. In the video, a homeowner returns late at night, only to experience a series of unnerving occurrences. <laughs> Given the blatant nature of these occurrences, many online viewers are labelling the video as a product of CGI wizardry, arguing that it's merely a tactic to garner social media attention. However, a faction of viewers firmly believe in the video's authenticity, calling it a legitimate paranormal incident. <laughs> Concerns for the homeowner's safety are evident, with some going as far as recommending a priestly intervention to bless the home. As opinions remain split, the ball is now in the court of the viewers. So is this a genuine ghostly encounter, or just another digital ruse? Let me know where you land on this, down below. Mm. Well, hey, well, that's the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Watch some more right here with these two links right there. Now, if you love what we do here at Slapped Ham, consider becoming a member. There's the little blue join button right there. Click that, that'll pop up with all the benefits our members are currently enjoying. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 